The number one reason, in my judgment, is they, that they get personal attention. So if they're having difficulties, we assume joint responsibility. They're responsible, I'm responsible for the learning environment, making sure they get it and that I communicate it. Secondly, I, which is almost as important, is we're in the community. We're doing work, whether it's consulting work, whether it's research work through the institute that I'm head of, all that. It's that interaction with the bigger community, whether it's in Omaha, Nebraska, Nebraska, the Midwest, what we call Mid-America, or the nation, or for, for, for that matter, the globe. One of the faculty members started a readings group. They get to talk about some great books and uh, debate the issues of, of, that are relevant uh, in today's economic or business world. In some cases, we just pose the question, and we don't necessarily provide the answer. We're providing a, a debate, stimulating debate. Let's talk about it, let's examine it, let's analyze it. What about choices, the choices that that individuals make, the choices that government make, the choices that businesses make, in terms of wage rates, in terms of, uh, of uh, prices, uh, in terms of the Affordable Care Act. That's a big one. Uh, we'll be examining some of the impacts of the Affordable Care Act. That's absolutely one of the goals, to encourage critical thinking. My, my wife used to say, and she'd say, when we meet a young person in the community, that's a Creighton graduate. And I'm like, well, how do you know? I don't know what it is uh, in some cases. I just, in many cases, I can tell. I would say it's an individual that gets a broad uh, range of experience in terms of business ethics. We certainly focus a lot on that. Critical thinking, it's looking at the world through less of a settled science as it's become to be known. I think friendliness, that's not a small thing. Friendliness and courtesy and respect. Friendliness, courtesy and respect as, as, as you meet individuals and they have a smile on their face. I think there's an optimism that, uh, that Creighton students have, that Creighton uh, graduates then possess an optimism. I just got an email from the student who worked with me last year, and he just emailed me thanking me for all that he, he learned and that contributed toward him getting that job, a very good job at a consulting firm out of Chicago. I said to him, we did, it was a win-win. It was I've been benefited from you. You did research work that, that benefited me, benefited Creighton, benefited businesses, so I thanked him. It, it, was, it, was, it goes both ways, and, and that's what we're working for. And I thanked also thanked his parents for raising such a great kid.